introduced a full spec corded vacuum cleaner that fits onto a sheet of A4 paper. It's the same size asterisk if you ignore all the tools. Well, this is not it. That's the DC26. This is the DC49. It's sort of great, 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 great grand cousin. But it still fits ish onto an A4 sheet of paper. And now this thing has been cleaned up. Wasn't that bad anyway, really. Need to test it. I think I might have already found it a new home, but I need to work out if it works first. So let's have a look, say goodbye to the cyclone, probably ever looking that clean again. As we have a look at our obviously now fixed, although you do have to be a bit careful, DC 49 digital motored tiny little vacuum cleaner. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and Tiny Dyson chums. How are you today? Fans of Tiny Dysons, I should say. If you're a tiny person who likes Dysons, I apologise. Yeah, it's, I, I love these little vacuum cleaners. Obviously, we dailyed the Canadian, whatever it was, Swedish, DC-47, which is basically this exact machine, but with the normal, dirty, horrible, filth-spewing, brushed electric motor. Pah! Spit in its face with this one's digital delight. Yes, it's, it's still a little bit iffy. I mean, I don't want to bend it too far back and obviously go wrong. That, that, that's good enough. You put it on and you just literally clip it together sometimes it even goes in first time but yeah you know as you know fellas doesn't always happen if we pop the bin open we shall see that again this rod isn't flipping sitting a hundred percent but i could probably fix that actually again once it once it does it once it works okay the bin opens nicely again they'll not be that clean for much longer oh and then we can take the bin off, although oh, it's all stuck to the cleaned up seals now. Come on, get off. Oh, you know what? Stay on. And I'll just show everybody that in there wasn't that bad. It wasn't destroyed. There was some benefits to be gained, but yeah, we're done, really. The filter went through the washing machine, came up very nicely indeed. In there is spotless too, and that's the only filter that I had to wash because, oh, and click underneath is the post motor filter which I just took out and put to the side because yeah being a digital motor if that gets dirty you've done something really terribly wrong because it shows that this machine hasn't overflowed and you know ingested stuff it's been perfectly lovely so let's turn it on in fact no because even if i turned it on and show it to you we can't really do much with it because of this weird hose inlet so i suppose we'd best bring down the tools which i literally didn't touch these were clean enough anyway oh there's the hose there's mini turbo head why not and then this because as you know we, I might have broken, oh, I did need to clean that up, look, yeah, ruined, ah, scrapped the whole video. No, yeah, obviously the turbo head that was on this was A, terrible anyway, even if it didn't work, B, didn't work, and I, this was given to me by someone that found it, it was brand new, literally, I think you've seen me use it any time it's been used, and oh, bless it, I mean, it's literally the same size as the machine itself, it's, yeah, Pretty much the exact same width. Ah, lovely. Right, let's go get some power to the little tiny thing. And I'll well, check it does spin the head. Now I've tested that it turns on, but I haven't got the hose out until now to check that the airflow isn't breached in any way. So hopefully I'm not going to have to do a little three hours later text. Oh, yeah. But yeah, cool. It pulses, oh. and of course, with my off switch. Oh, lovely, yeah, that's gonna. I mean, it's probably gonna spin this an absolute treat. Now, 
I think this has just got its own problems look, and I think it should probably just go straight in the bin now. This is what I'm hoping is going to spin because if it doesn't I'll have a little bit of trouble. I'm going to have to go hunting for another head but quietly large head aside. Yeah! That doesn't slow down on this one. Oh, of course, have it off entirely. enough I mean oof, it's a little bit grim but of course I don't think it's got the same amount of airflow as a cordon what's it supposed to eat it's supposed to eat 1050 watts which as we know doesn't necessarily mean much but what we can do is directly compare that with its much bigger brother, the Dyson DC-19, because I have this one in it. It hasn't been fully refurbished, wasn't that bad. It had its own head unclogged and some new filters fitted and an airline. And it's perfectly fine. What does it eat? I can't even remember where its ratings plate is. Don't bother to look at them. 1400 watts. I don't know. The other problem that I realised is that the entire tool fitment is completely bloody different. So even if we wanted to, we're not going to do it that way. So what we're going to have to do is cheat just a little bit and take the top of the head off and all of the ones from this, which means we'll redo the test with just the hose end on the 49, but I can I can seal it up, that's the problem. And we can get a little bit of a guess. Oh, yeah. So unless all of the air is leaking out of this sealed piece of plastic, which I don't somehow think it is. Oh my goodness, can I even... Uh, Dyson! Yeah, we're going to have to put this back together now. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. The fact that it isn't slowing down is good enough. And I mean, you know, it's got all of this crud in it as well. I think somewhere I might have. No, I think what would be sensible is to go dig out the flat out head that I knew I had somewhere that fitted. Again, I think this is the one that I use for most of the month when I use this one's brushed motor counterpart. <laughs> Why are you holding the Wait, it's all it's all jammed up with fluff look and yeah, bleed valve is staying open. That's not fab. It's not perfect, but I flipped it back into place, so it'll jolly well do. That's better. Again, it, it just needs that bit of airflow to hold itself down. And now it skims beautifully. Uh, but it is a lot nicer to you. Get away cable. Oh, it's quite nice on the half one, yeah. Talking of go away cable, why did Dyson again shove the V15 internals into this? Get rid of the cable or stick a DC jack there. And just punt it out. It's probably going to have more airflow than this thing. Because, I mean. As beautiful as it is, and um, Dyson's probably best foray into you know, a full-size 
digital motor before they obviously couldn't make it work and had to go down the cordless handheld route. I can sort of see why. My idea for this is to try my mum with it. She had the DC50 that we did a little while ago now. I've got a video that I still haven't done about that. I think that's going to now turn into a one year later. Um, we'll see if we can get some thoughts about what she doesn't like about that and then see if she prefers this, because bless them, they've only got a bungalow, they've got a GTEC air ram for doing the floors, I can go around with all manner of fun and dangerous objects whenever, so this might be quite good. And again, what I like about these small, tiny canisters is just taking all the tools off, putting the little ones on, and all of a sudden, well, it's lovely really. And that's sort of what my parents need. So we'll see if it survives. It should. I mean, they're not going to use it for DIY. They still have uh, Henry. So hopefully this thing will be okay. Who knows? You'll probably see this again soon when I finish off my pathetic attempt at the other video on their other vacuum. But our little £20 bargain is now full, complete vacuum cleaner, which, blimey, works very well. Look, picked up all of that just from this little spin over the rug. There you go, well, have it back. There you go, look, all refurbished again. Yeah, this little £20 broken hose but no tools vacuum cleaner is now a very complete, very nice machine, which I'm getting to still own, but don't have to store. Win, win all round. So, comment down below, have you ever had one of these? If so, what did you think about it? Or have you had one of these is brushed motor counterparts, which I think is probably your better bet. Let me know about that as well. And until the next time, I and some other microscopic little vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Happy vacuuming.